working on a budget, it can throw off the daily balance by focusing your energy on what you don't have instead of what you do. But there are plenty of ways to cut corners without feeling like you're cutting out all the fun. Here with some creative financial planning ideas is the host of The Daily Balance. Welcome, Kim Jacobs. Kim, good morning. Good morning. How are you all? Fine, thank you. There are ways that you can still have fun, entertain your family, and not spend a fortune. One thing is I think you have to get creative about looking for free stuff to do. Look for free activities because they are out there. They really are. If you look in your local newspaper, you're going to find lots of free activities that you and your family can go, you and your spouse can go to and just enjoy. And look in the entertainment section for that and you'll find all types of activities. You can also go to your free library and play. If your children want to get on the computer, they have computers there as well as adult computers so that you can do some research yourself. It's all types of things that are free that you can participate in. And also just going for a free walk in the park on a walking trail. That's also a great free fun activity. I know I've dated my husband many times on a, on a walking <laughs> trail for free. And Kim, you also say you can do something, a word we haven't heard for quite a while, but in this day and age, barter. Barter. Bartering is so important to me because I know for my television show with Daily Balance with Kim Jacobs, what I do is I, I'm forever bartering. I'll utilize a photographer and I'll say, okay, you can come and do the photography work at the show. But then what I'll do is I'll do a photo shoot for your for your portfolio, or mm -hmm. I'll put the credit, put you on the credits of the show. Just make sure that it's a nice opportunity for a mutually beneficial relationship. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I enjoy movie night at home. That's always a fun night. You know what? For me and my family, especially with me having five children and it costing an exorbitant amount of money. And I'm not joking. Literally, 3D and IMAX, it's insane. And forget the popcorn so and the, the popcorn, drinks. the popcorn, yeah. the drinks, and all of that on top of it, it gets really outrageously expensive on my behalf. So what I recommend is getting like a Redbox movie or going to your local movie rental facility and then being able to just do it for one fee at home and also pop some 99 cent popcorn and you have a great activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Create a fun amount? What do you mean by that? Or a fun I, account? Well, I think with the fun <laughs> amount, is, it should be more like a fun account type of thing. Okay. A plush fun of some things that you can actually spend. Once you've already looked through what you have to do for the, for the, for the week, then take out some cash that you know that you can use just for some fun things for yourself. Everybody deserves, even on a very tight budget, you must have a little bit of fun. Even if it's like 10 bucks. Yeah. So, I mean, mm -hmm. this is just going to be my candy money. Or my, my fun money, mm -hmm. whatever it is. I agree. I, also, you remind people to comparison shop for gas because, as we know, gas gets very, very pricey. I found a great site. It's called gasbuddy.com. Gasbuddy.com. If you go there, it tells you throughout the entire Charlotte area, where it's all types of cities throughout the city, throughout the um, state of North Carolina. But in Charlotte, it will tell you specifically what the gas prices are and what the cheapest gas prices are in the area, and then also what the highest gas prices are within the last 36 hours. Very That's good. That's good information. It is, Kim. Thank you <laughs> so much. You can watch the Daily Balance with Kim Jacobs Saturday mornings at 10 on WTVI. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Kim.